Hey guys, so just a little update on what I've been up to so far with regards to this tennis machine. By the way, sorry about um, not posting updates frequently. Um, I'm not really getting time these days to uh, work on um, this project. So whenever I get a chance, I kind of, you know, do little bits here and there. But anyway, so, so far what I've done is, well, I've sourced the wheels, right? The appropriate wheels, I think that'll work. Um, I'll link the um, product in the description below. But it's from a website called andymark.com. And they basically, they do wheels for robotics and so on. Uh, uh, yeah, I, be, at first what I did was I used like, you know, those typical lawnmower wheels. Um, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen so you guys can see. But what happened with that is that bec um, it's not really meant to, or because it's meant to go on a lawnmower or a trolley, it's not really, um, f or in terms of manufacturing it, they didn't really focus on having the wheels spin true, right? Or spin like perfectly straight. So, yeah, um, I decided to scrap that uh, because when I had put it on, one, it was too big, right? It was really big. And two, um, there was a lot of vibration, right? A lot of vibration, everything was shaken up and a lot of noise and so on. Um, if I have a video of it, I will um, put it up. If not, well, anyway. So, yeah, anyway. So I went ahead and mocked up these wheels here coupled it to the uh, motors right so i have a, a flexible shaft coupler here um, i used a nut with a locking washer on both sides right this is, these are two of the wheels that um the animark wheels they're called stealth wheels right and then i put a um what do you call it a uh, uh, bearing right a bearing on this side to just hold it hold it straight and level so yeah i have the lines lined up here which is good and then same thing on this side yeah so let's let me show you guys how it looks like what it looks like so far level of vibration may be workable I think uh, it's not bad because nothing's like it's not shaking up too much it's not making too much noise either and also um, with the rubber dampeners and so on that I have to put in the feet uh, that'll help a lot all right so in terms of this thing the last couple things I have to do is of course clean up these welds and also um, I'm gonna have to align this a little better what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut this shaft of this motor a little bit. I already cut them before, but I'm going to have to cut this one a little more because I have a lot of space here still. So I'll cut it, um, whatever, maybe maybe half, maybe three quarter of this distance here. And then maybe cut this one a quarter of the distance because this one is a little already close. All right, this one has more give. So yeah, I'll do that next and then I'll yeah so after this the next step is to work on the carousel and also the motor at the bottom that turns the whole device the whole system and i mean the supplementary one will be the one that comes here which adjusts the angle yeah so instead of me having to hold this all the time <laughs> so yeah that's it basically so far guys Hey guys, so I've gone ahead and shortened the shaft on this side and on this side. Uh, I think it's it's almost perfect. It's just a slight, 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 slight little um, adjustment. But honestly speaking, the difference is so small that I don't know if I'll even bother to um, fix that. Maybe I might um, end up putting a little space on this um, side to kind of bring it this way. 
because I got a little bit of um, length here still that I can play with. On this side, however, I don't. So, yeah. So, that's a little progress update for you guys.